Hey guys, in this video I actually wanted to do a little review of iOS 7, give you guys some impressions, and I'll show you some of my favorite things about iOS 7. I'm not going to do a full review, but basically just give you a little idea of what it is and what you're looking forward to if you want to install iOS 7 beta. So I've been using it for almost two weeks and I gotta say it's a beautiful interface. A lot has been improved, but basically my impression is that it's iOS 6 with a new skin and new functionality, and that's pretty much it. Still the same restrictions there aren't many new things to experience it's basically iOS 6 with a new look and a few new features now if you're thinking of installing iOS 7 beta 1 I would maybe hold off until beta 2 because beta 1 is a bit unstable right now I have been using it as my main phone firmware for a while and it's great however it does crash often it doesn't play well with many applications from the App Store because they haven't been updated yet and in general the battery life is not that great but the iOS 7 interface itself is pretty cool and I want to show you some of my favorite little things in the iOS 7 firmware. Now, of course, the one everyone loves is the slide up from the bottom to get the settings toggle menu. And you can go ahead and toggle many things, including the flashlight on and off. You can go to your camera quickly, your calculator, toggle all of these things that you would usually open up settings for. And I absolutely love it. It works perfectly for me. So I have no beef with this whatsoever. I love it. If you slide down, from the top you get the notifications menu and I actually have had a lot of trouble I mean I had Skype open and the notifications menu just went crazy it showed me about 86 notifications in a couple seconds and it just sounded like my phone was dying so I've had a couple bugs with notifications menu a couple other things that I do love about iOS 7 is the new camera application if you slide just on the picture like this you know it switches settings and you can't actually slide into the photos you have to click down here now However, I gotta say, I love how it works. It's speedy. See, if I go to photos and it takes photos really, really, really quick. I love that. And you can add the filters. I haven't seen the filters on the 4S yet for some reason. It just works on the 5. So, you know, you do have the new camera application. And I gotta say, almost everything in the iOS 7 interface has been redesigned and changed. I couldn't really find anything that looked old from the iOS 6 firmware. So basically everything has been redone and there are many nice little touches. Now, if you look closely at the clock application, it actually works now. So it's not set at a fixed time. It actually moves, which is pretty neat, a small little thing. And of course you do have the 3D effect if you move the iPhone like that, which is pretty cool. Stereoscopic 3D effects. We have seen that in an earlier tweak in Cydia. So that's a nice little thing Apple did add. This one may be a little bit hard to see, but if you scroll through messages, you actually get this nice fluid animation where the messages go a little bit slower and they kind of pile up against each other. I love it because it's just one of those little touches that makes a big difference in terms of, you know, intricate design. That's one of the things that I have noticed in iOS 7 that most people don't. And it's really cool. So definitely try it out if you do have iOS 7 beta. Yes, there are now video wallpapers in iOS 7. So if you actually you know, put one on, there's only a selection of two right now. Hopefully that will change in the upcoming betas, but it is pretty cool. You can play around with it a little bit by moving your device. But other than that, you can't actually touch and interact with it. It's just a slow moving video wallpaper. Nothing too exciting, but you know, again, it's just one of those little things in iOS 7 that makes a little difference, but it looks really cool. Now, Pond 2G, one of the makers of many jailbreaks we have used in the past, actually does not like iOS 7 and has even said that he might switch over to Android, which may be bad news because he's the one that worked on the last iOS 6 jailbreak. And if he's gone, you know, that would be bad news. I do believe iOS 7 still has a huge place in it for jailbreaks because you will soon notice that it is very restricted. If you used iOS 6, it's a lot like it, even though, you know, there are a couple new settings menus you still would want to jailbreak it for more functionality because it is very limited, even though there is more functionality. So guys, in this video, you know, I just showed you a couple of the things I liked in iOS 7. Other than that, there are a few new features that I haven't covered, but most of the old ones just have a new skin on them and not much added functionality. So I do hope you like this video, guys. You know, iOS 7 beta 2 will be coming out very soon and I will be showing you guys how to update to that if you are on beta 1 or not at all. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day, guys. Peace.